So today is a special day at work and we are doing a fundraiser for our um, family readiness group and it is jeans and jerseys day. So basically you're sporting your favorite um, football team in anticipation of the Army Navy game coming up. I'm not sure when it is. <laughs> it's probably tomorrow. I don't know. But <laughs> that is what's going on. So obviously I am sporting the Atlanta Falcons. Don't come at me in the comments. Don't need it. Cause guess what? Rise up, baby. So do y'all want to know something cool? Huh? Yeah. I got a new phone for y'all. So my phone, my iPhone videos about to be much better than it previously was. So today, um, after work, we need to go to AT&T to return this one or turn this one in um, for the $700 promotion trade, whatever, whatever they're doing currently. Um, you know, your girl loves a discount. So that's what's gonna happen after work today. Alexa, what's the weather in Fairbanks, Alaska? In Fairbanks, it's minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Today, you can look for cloudy skies moving in and out with a high of minus 10 degrees and a low of minus 19 degrees. We all heard her. It's cold outside. What's up y'all, I'm at work now. So I've seen a couple questions on what I do in the military and I am a signal officer. So I work with computers and radios and satellites and antennas and anything communication wise. Um, we fix it and we, we fix it, we repair it, we enable it so that way soldiers can talk in the field and it's, it's pretty fun. Um, it wasn't my first choice. However, I have come to learn to love it. Like, I wouldn't have it any other way. Signal is the way to go. And the awesome thing about Signal is that whenever I retire, I am able to transfer my skills that I learned in the military into the civilian world. Um, because you can get some certifications and just IT um, certificates and just a lot of a lot of cool things that transfer into the civilian world. I do want to show you real quick what I did for my soldiers for the holidays. So each soldier has their own stocking and I threw some some treats inside and gave each an individualized note. Um, just with the year that we've had this year, um, just a little bit of extra holiday cheer and motivation um it it really impacted the soldiers the soldiers walked in and they were like oh, ma'am did you do all this and i'm like uh yeah y'all are my y'all are my guys and my gals so i gotta take care of y'all and that just brings a smile to my face it increases motivation and i am happy to do it every single holiday do have to give a shout out though to Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, babe, for hanging the Christmas lights for me inside of the office. Cause I was um, one, I'm not tall enough to reach the ceiling, and two, like I'm not creative creative enough to know how to electrically string lights to a ceiling. So, thanks, babe. <laughs> So I just got out of the post office on post. I have a a mystery box. Um, but I'm going to swing by the, ah, you couldn't see me. What I'm gonna do now is swing by the, um, the exchange or the, the PX or BX or whatever you wanna call it. Um, and go to Starbucks and see if we can redeem ourselves for a peppermint mocha. <laughs> if you haven't watched our taste test tried, last time we went to Starbucks to try the holiday drinks, they were out of 
basically everything <laughs> so i'm going to try to redeem myself or try to redeem ourselves and go get a peppermint mocha and possibly a sugar plum uh, cheese danish or whatever sugar plum danish and see if we can get that then i'm going to go to chris's office and stand by there instead of like immediately going to, to run my other errands simply because it is 217 right now and my virtual graduation for my masters it starts at three so <laughs> i'd rather be hunkered down and ready to graduate <laughs> basically tune into my graduation ceremony rather than be in the middle of doing errands and i would like to do that with him so that's that's the current plan. The reason why I put air quotes behind graduate is because my final paper is due in four days. <laughs> so technically like if by any chance, which the only chance that I fail this class is if I don't do anything at all, but I already have 98% of the paper complete, um, but it's due in four days. And once that is turned in, then, then I am officially officially graduated. You're definitely crying. You're definitely crying. Hold on, sit back up. What's that right there? Look at my eyes. All right, so ooh, what is on the screen? There you go. All right, so I just turned in my old phone at the lovely AT&T. And now I am going to go home and we are going to talk about the cell service and internet here in Alaska because it might be a little bit different than where you live. All right, so we are back home now and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the cell phone providers and the internet here in Alaska. So down in the lower 48, typically you have a variety of cell phone providers. You have Sprint, uh, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, Cricket, Metro PCS, just a whole slew of them. Well, up here in Alaska, there's a select few. Um, there's only three. <laughs> so you have AT&T, Verizon, and you have GCI, which is an Alaska-based um, internet provider or cell phone provider company. For internet, you have two options. You have DISH or you have GCI. Um, and mainly nine times out of 10, people use GCI. Cell phone provider rates and the internet rates differ greatly from the lower 48. So for here, for internet more specifically, you have to pay per gigabyte that you use. Um, they have a thing called fast, faster, or fastest. Um, internet and it's all based on um, like gigabyte packages. We currently have 700 gigabytes of uh, internet data a month and that typically runs about $150 per month and it is very expensive. Um, obviously just like with any other uh, internet providers it's based on how many items you have on the on the router or on the network at a time. So obviously today is a technology, um, technology is all around us. So like we have smart TVs, cell phones, laptops, iPads, just anything that takes Wi-Fi basically, um, it takes up bandwidth. So you need as much gigabytes as possible and with me obviously uploading videos to YouTube we definitely stream a lot and um, I take up a lot of data especially for the videos so for internet and the cell phone providers obviously there is a select few here whenever you come here if you ever plan to visit um, make sure that you either have 
AT&T, Verizon, or GCI because if you have anything else, you won't really get good service. Um, your provider might try to bounce off another provider's cell phone towers. However, it's not going to be the best. And 5G, it hasn't made it here yet. Um, your phones are capable of it. You know, the new the new iPhones or Galaxies or whatever you have. Um, 5G is it's out there, but not in Alaska. Not quite yet. We're a little bit behind the power curve. But that's about it for our uh, internet and cell phone providers. So thanks for tuning in for today's video. A lot of exciting things happened. You know, new phone. I graduated. <laughs> well, I had my graduation ceremony like I told y'all before. Next week is the official graduation date. Um, and yeah, that just give me all an insight on our internet and cell phone service here. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, especially if you liked it. Subscribe down below, and then for you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I post, especially during vlogs. A lot of exciting things coming up, so be sure to stay tuned, because after I turn in this paper, I have a lot of cool things on the docket, so be sure to stay tuned and I will see y'all later. Bye.